<laughs> you don't need to do court today. Well, we don't need to do court today. But thank you for wanting to be a witness. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to be a witness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I'm looking for. It's that stuff. Free entertainment by my kitty cat. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, now to Ypsilanti Township versus Zachary Davis, case number 23-T00526. <clears throat> Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Your Honor, I, am a, I do currently have Mr. Davis on the phone. He's attempting to log back into Zoom. He appears to be having some difficulty in that matter, but he is currently attempting to log back into Zoom. Well, he has not shown up here yet, and we will not be waiting all day for him to show up. Yes, Your Honor, I did just advise Mr. Davis over the phone that he needs to log in right now to avoid a bench warrant. All right. Bench warrant to issue in this particular case because you said you had some contact with him. I'll set it at a low bond. I'll do that at uh, fifteen hundred ten percent. Thank you, Your Honor. I will advise. Thank you. We're all set for the. Oh wait, iPhone just entered. Oh. Sir, please unmute and state your name. Zachary Davis. Before we call the case of Ypsilanti Township versus Zachary Davis. <laughs> Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Assistant Public Defender Davi Lee Man from Mr. Davis. Thank you, Your Honor, for recalling this case. Mr. Davis, please state your name. Zachary Davis. All right, we passed this matter so you could speak with your client earlier today. Yes, Your Honor, with regard to the bond violation, we would be pleading guilty to that. My understanding is that he did not act adequately understand his instructions to report after arraignment due to what I've just been informed are some mental health issues he has. Mr. Davis. Please raise your right hand to be sworn. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So, hope you got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that a yes? 
Yeah. Yes. You can lower your hand. Sir, it's my understanding that you're going to be admitting to a bond violation whereby you failed to report to community corrections as was ordered. Is that correct? Sure. I don't think this is going to work, Mr. Lebo. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I just literally woke up about 30 seconds ago. Your Honor, ask if the court, if we could adjourn this matter rescheduled for an in-person hearing. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. And no objection to that. We'll see him next week on October 23rd in person. We were in person there today. I was in person there today. Uh, I don't care. You're going to be in person on next week at 10 a.m. Well, let me write that down because I already forgot. Davis, I would advise you not to speak further. I'll write it down. My daddy write it down for me. October 23rd, 2023 at 10 a.m. Bond is continued for now. Thank you, Your Honor. In person. Deputies don't like when you talk to people in the box for security reasons. All right, we're back on the record. I'm going to show you what's entitled True Bill of Indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, do you weigh the reading of the indictment? Yes, we do. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. Mr. Hernandez, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? I need you. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of unauthorized use of a vehicle? That's a state jail felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from 180 days up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea, and gives you counsel and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Did you understand by entering this agreement you were giving up those rights? Hi. Yes. 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 And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes. Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could fine you guilty and sentence you up to two years in the state jail facility and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am, I did. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, he has, Your Honor. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? Yes. Do you believe he's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes. Mr. Hernandez, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, ma'am. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial showing you the plea bargain page did you review that with your attorney did you understand it I did, I did understand. according to the plea there's a thousand dollar fine to be probated state recommends deferred adjudication they're taking into consideration grand jury number seven nine zero six nine four there's to be restitution payable to brandon flores and also juan antonio mata and grand jury number 790694. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense? That is correct. State? It is wrong. Showing you the wave of appeal paragraph. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, ma'am, I did. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, are there any such motions? No, Your Honor. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement. State is requesting that your deferred adjudication be for a term of four years. There be a TAP evaluation, 150 hours community service restitution, 
No contact with Brandon Flores, Juan Antonio Mata, and Katz, one and two. Did you understand those were recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, ma'am. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State, any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. State exhibit number one with all of its attachments. We have no objections. All right, state, you may be excused. Thank you. Showing you what's entitled wavering consent to stipulation of testimonies. At reviewing states exhibits one and attachments to court, we'll find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you've applied for deferred adjudication. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, we are, Your Honor. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Well, Your Honor, we would like the court to, um, having considered uh, the application for deferred adjudication, to grant that application for deferred adjudication. I believe that Mr. Hernandez is motivated to comply with conditions of his probation, and I hope to believe that he will successfully complete the uh, probationary period. And so we're asking that the court would accept the plea uh, bargain that we entered into with the state. All right. How old are you? 18. Are you in school or have you graduated? Excuse me, Mr. Bartholomew. Hi, you all need to move to that end. Sorry, Judge. All right. All right. right. Thank you, Diane. My apologies. So, did you graduate from school or are you in school? None of them. So, I didn't graduate. Why not? I had a kid. You have a child? Yes, ma'am. What is the age of your child? A year and four months. Why do you think not getting an education is somehow helping your one-year-old? I was thinking of doing GED, but I really don't got nothing. But the taking a vehicle right. got in the way of that? That was before my daughter was born. So are you employed? No, ma'am. I have an interview on Friday, though. All right, so you're not employed. You say you dropped out of school because you had a child, but none of your actions are doing anything to better your child. So does your child live with you? Yes, ma'am. And who else? The mother of my child. Hmm? The mother of my child. All right, and are you all living by yourselves? Yes, ma'am. So how are you paying for rent? Yeah, well, I mow lawns around the area. I have normal, like, customers, and plus I help. All right, you're modeling. I can't hear you, and I know the court reporter is having tr- time. I mow, mow lawns around the area. I have, like, normal customers, and I also, I help around with my mom's friend. Everyone whisper. And I help around with my mom's friend doing demolition and junk removal and stuff like that. Okay. And if you're drug tested today and know you're going to get drug t- tested today, what are the results going to be? Be honest. Like, I'm going to be positive, yes. For what? Marijuana. All right. You have a one-year-old. Why are you smoking marijuana? Honestly, I can't even tell you. So, and is the mother smoking marijuana? Oh, no. No, ma'am. So, here's the problem. One-year-olds, their immune system is almost non-existent. Right. And they're trying to build up their immunity. They're taking in everything that's happening around them. They soak up things like a sponge. Everything that you do, they see, they want to repeat it because they love you and they think that's the way things are supposed to be. You using marijuana means your clothes smell like marijuana, which means the baby is inhaling marijuana. Do you think it's okay for a one-year-old to smoke marijuana? No, ma'am. When you smoke marijuana, it's like the one-year-old is smoking marijuana. Do you understand? I do. You're going to have to set an example for your one-year-old. Is this a girl or a boy? A girl. Right. You got to accept set an example for her. You know why? Because usually when daughters seek to get married or whatever, they're looking for somebody who's just like their parent. And where you are in the state in your life, if your daughter were of age, would you want her bringing somebody like you home? No. So. You need to change your ways. You need to get your GED or either go to somebody's trade school or technical school to better yourself because mowing lawns, yeah. it can only get you so much money unless you're doing great work and you're going to take over the entire neighborhood. Right. If you're taking over the entire neighborhood of mowing lawns, that can be a good living. All right. Yeah. Okay. This is what the court is going to do. 
Court is going to sentence you to four years deferred adjudication. If you complete everything successfully, then the court will consider letting you off early. Your attorney will tell you about that. There's a thousand dollar fine that will be probated. Taking consideration grand jury number 790694. There's to be restitution, if any, to Brandon Flores and Juan Antonio Mata and cause number grand jury, sorry, number 790694. 150 hours of community service restitution, probation in exchange for the 150 hours community service restitution. I'm going to want parenting classes. And he is either going to complete his GED or enroll in some sort of trade school so you can better yourself. You understand? Yes, ma'am. And my understanding, there's a shortage of welders. And I think welders make a lot of money. And you know who else make a lot of money? Plumbers. Yeah, my sister welders. There's going to be regular reporting by Zoom or in person. We're going to do regular UAs. And let's test him for levels. Your levels of marijuana use had better start going down. You understand? Yes, ma'am. There's to be no contact with Brandon. Flores, Juan Antonio Mata. All right, probation. Uh, let's do field visits one time per month for three months. And if everything is fine, probation, you do field visits as you deem appropriate. Probation, is there anything else he needs? Um. As far as proof of employment or. Ah, thank you. We'll do proof of employment. Within 45 days, there's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. And, Your Honor, do I understand you correctly in lieu of the 150 hours of community service restitution if he does parenting classes and, and gets his GT or enrolls in trade school? Uh, the 150 hours will be satisfied. Thank you. You understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there anything else, probation? Mm -hmm. All right. They want you to do CATS 1 and 2. I'm going to give you my CATS program right now, and I want you to listen to me very carefully. Do not take what does not belong to you. Do not steal. You understand? Mm -hmm. And as a side note to the class that I give, if somebody ever invites you to a location and asks you to leave, leave. You understand? Mm -hmm. And if somebody wants to sell you a car and that car is being sold to you four times less its value, that means that there's something wrong with that car. If you get into a car that somebody has sold to you and the ignition interlock is damaged, that means that there's something going on with that vehicle. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Is there anything else that you need from this court to be successful? No, ma'am. All right, I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. <laughs> did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, we can go off the record. From here on out, everything that you do in your life, there are two things, well, three things you need to think of. One, you need to think of how it's going to impact your child, right? Right. Two. If it's something that could potentially result in you going to the state jail facility and right. getting revoked for two years, you need not do it. You understand? Yes, Just don't do it. Right. Because two years out of a child's life is a long time. Yes. All right. Good luck to you. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Over there. Who is Al on Alberto Jose Zuniga? The discovery and did you review it with your client? Yes, ma'am, I have. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Mr. Williams, I'm going to show you what's entitled waiver of indictment, reading of information and rights under Article 1.051 and 26.03 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. 
off the record for a moment. So attorneys, you all are blocking the door where the inmates come out. And I forgot to make this announcement. The deputies are in charge of court security. If something happens and you are in their way, they have my permission to make the court safe by whatever means they're making the court safe. So if you're in their line of vision, that's on you. We're back on the record. All right. Did you understand you have a right to have a grand jury hear the evidence in this case and make a decision on whether or not to indict and hold you over for trial? Did you understand your attorney has two right two days from the presentation of the information and 10 days from the presentation of the information to prepare for trial? Did you, you don't have to speak up so the court reporter can hear? Yes, ma'am. All right. Did you understand by entering this plea you were giving up those rights? Yes, and did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea today? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived indictment, reading of information and rights under Article 1.05 and 26.03 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. Going to show you what's entitled application for deferred adjudication or community supervision. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Going to show you what's entitled information. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the information? Yes, ma'am, I do. State, are you proceeding on the information as presented? No, Your Honor. Uh, the state moves to proceed on the lesser included violation of protective order class A misdemeanor. Any objection? No objection, Your Honor. I'm going to show you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that the state is proceeding on the offense of violation of protective order or bond conditions as a class A misdemeanor? Range of punishment is up to $4,000 fine and up to one year in the Bear County Jail. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. If you have a plea bargain agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court doesn't follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by entering this plea, you were giving up those rights? Yes, ma'am. Did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea today? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand if the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication, if for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could find you guilty and sentence you up to a $4,000 fine and up to one year in the Bear County Jail? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, ma'am, he has. Do you believe he has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against him? Yes, ma'am, he has. Do you believe he's currently competent, was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, he is. Mr. Williams, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, ma'am. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial, showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, the state is proceeding on the less included offense of violation bond and protective order. There's a zero dollar fine. The state is recommending deferred adjudication. There's to be no contact with Latasha, L-A-T-O-S-H-A Williams and anger management course. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense? Yes, sir. State? Yes, your honor. Showing you the wave of appeal paragraph. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, are there any such motions? No, ma'am. Next, I'm showing you outside the plea bargain agreement. The state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of 12 months. There be 100 hours of community service restitution. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, ma'am. Then to the lesser included offense, how do you plead guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State, any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. The state offers state's exhibit one and it's attachment. No objection. All right. Yes, we did make her aware of this. All right. Thank you. You may continue to confer. Mr. Williams, I'm showing you what's entitled a waiver and consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Uh, 
again, that you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses, statements, and police reports, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. That's what he needs to do. All right. Uh, do you have any children? Yes, ma'am. How many? Uh, Age? Uh, All right. And is this one child is a complaint at the mother? No. All right. So what is your relationship to Latasha Williams? Your wife? How long have you been married? Year. One year. How long have you known her? Two years. Two, I'm sorry? Two. Two years. And how old are you? 32. Are you employed? Yes, ma'am. Doing what? Um, I'm a truck driver, but I operate heavy equipment right now. Okay. All right. So I want to explain something to you. She no longer wants to be with you. Now, I mean, you say that's fine, but what I have before me is you contacting her. She doesn't want you anymore. Legally, I guess you all are still married, but in the real world, right? She doesn't want you anymore. Right. She doesn't want to be your wife. She doesn't want you contacting her. Do you all have property together? All right. You don't have property together. You don't have children together. Do you all have friends in common? You don't have friends in common. So it's like the song Maya, the case of the ex. You don't have any mutual friends. You don't have any children. You don't have any property together. The only thing you have is name on paper. So did you all legally marry or is this common law that you're doing? Hmm? All right. So she doesn't want you anymore. You, do you, you can get a divorce on paper or she can get a divorce on paper. Yeah, I already got but it. she's so you have it filed. Yeah, I'm going. It's already in the process. All right. So you understand you're not to have contact with her. She's done. Yes, and you should be able to be done with her because you're 32 and you've only known her for two years. So you went 30 years on the planet without knowing her. All right. Yes, and I'm sure is your mom currently alive? Yes, ma'am. I'm sure your mom has told you to move on. Most good. Family members, everybody. Mm -hmm. So you need to do it. Otherwise, you're looking up to a year in the Bear County Jail. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. This is what the court is going to do. Court is going to sentence you to one year deferred adjudication, 100 hours of community service restitution. How often do you see your 12 year old? Uh, he lives in uh, Illinois. Only um, sometimes when I go back to Louisiana, I'll see him. But I just pay child support basically. So you're not a father? I'm a father. But no. I'm not there. His mom. Took him to a place where he can have a better education, basically, because there's nothing where I'm from. That's the same reason why I moved here. Well, no, 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 no. Being a father is more than just paying child support. I'll be there when I can. But well, if he's in another state, what can I do? Oh, you can have contact with him. You I can be all, a I talk to him every day. You can be time. a person in his life. I do all so all it's going to be parenting classes. And the community service hours will not be waived. If you want to pay off your community service hours, you're more than welcome to pay off your community service hours at $7.25 per hour. And there's going to be parenting classes, proof of employment within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Regular UAs or either you can do the patch. And we'll do field visits. One time per month for three months. There's to be no contact 
with Latasha Williams. And when I say no contact, what that means is you can't have some third party call her, text her, don't send her flowers, don't say, sorry, it didn't work out. You're not to communicate with her at all. Is as if you never met her, you don't know her. Do you understand? Um, the parenting class I took in uh, county, would that count for the parent, what you're trying to give me? Because I have Oh, yeah. Why did you take it? Why did you have to take parenting classes in Ledet County? Volunteered to take. No, why? Why? Yes. What, were you divorced? What was their child custody issues? Why? I just took it just to know how to be a better parent, basically. All right. Well, you'll need to provide proof of that to probation. Okay. All right. Probation, is there anything else he needs? Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? Um, Remove on my ankle monitor. Oh, yeah. We're not going to do that yet. Um, but Sean, his ankle monitor can be removed once the complainant is contacted and see if the complainant has issues with that. The state will do that for you. So family violence. On this case, before his ankle monitor is removed, someone needs to contact the complainant and let her know that he's asking that the ankle monitor is removed and see if she has any objections to that. If she does have objections to that, we can come back to court and I'll hear what the reason is. Right. I'm going to show you. Man, I'm a truck driver. I can't make a living being on ankle. I can't even find Sir, a job. Go around. Yeah. Why are you reaching through? Your Honor, we will today. They're going to call today. Here's the issue. And I don't think you understand the seriousness of the issue, because when people come before me, guess what they want? They want these cases done. They want things to move on and they want their life to be back the way it was before they had a case. So the issue we have is a civil judge put in place a no contact order. You violated the no contact order. I've read your violations with her. So obviously. There's some issue with you understanding the no contact order. And if you had to come to a criminal court and this is a felony court, which means the state reduced your case from a felony to a misdemeanor, that means that there are issues with you and you're not understanding a court order. So what it, what would it look like for me to think, oh, now he understands because he's talking to me, a judge, when he was talking to Judge Salinas and it didn't matter. So you understand? So that's why. So I want to make sure that the complainant knows that your attorney and you are requesting that the GPS be removed. If the complainant says, I'm in fear, I don't want the GPS removed, guess what's going to end up happening? We're going to have a hearing. That's the way we do things in this court. Because my job is to make sure that one, when people are placed on probation, they're rehabilitated and make sure that if there is a complainant out there, that that complainant is protected and society is protected. That's my job. That's right. All right. So I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? All right. We can go off the record. So, um, Mr. Brawback. Yes, ma'am. They're going to speak to the complainant today. If you want to hang around and see if they get in touch with her, yes, then we may be able to take this up. Okay. And state if she is objecting to it and she wants to appear by Zoom, then we can do that today and have a hearing by Zoom. Yes, ma'am. So, I'll Mr. Williams, here. remain in court. Remain here. Thank you, George. You're welcome. Burbank. He's, Burbank's not here. We'll Mr. move Burbank, on. Jason ran. White. Is Ryan Gertz here? We'll move on. Daniel Moten, 131815. Who's here for probation? Thank you. <laughs> this is one three one eight. Uh, 135, this probation was about to expire, right? In a couple of weeks? Yes, August 10th. Mm -hmm. And
I have this letter, April 20th. Yes. That's from the previous officer. I just took over his case July the 11th. Okay. We didn't have a hearing, though, since I got this letter. On 5-2, I got this letter on April 25th. On 5-2, a week later, I ordered a uh, hearing. So it took that long. Here we are. Three months to get a hearing on this? Judge, my, this my notes reflect that we were here on May 24th. That would have been after that time frame. And I believe it was based on that memo that you received earlier. Mm -hmm. So, what do we do? Uh, did we come to an agreement here that you would, you would pay four hundred dollars a month at least? Yes, Is that sir. right? All right. Are all the papers in order as far as the order is concerned for restitution? Yes. So that there's, it's clear how much is still owed. Uh, What's the balance? Fifty thousand one hundred and eighty-three dollars and twenty cents. I don't think that's right. Why would you say it's not right? Because I got a receipt, receipt Sean. I had it down to forty-two before they added the ten thousand. What did they add the ten thousand for? We don't know. That's what we you talked know? about. Yeah, you know, he raised that issue on yes. May twenty-four. He claimed at that time that the restitution was raised by that amount. You actually ordered the department to investigate, um, and that's and then you re reset this matter uh, to the July setting. This setting, so that we were ahead of whenever it might expire. So. He says that's not right, but paperwork is in the system. So it either is going to show it or it's not going to show it. But I can't believe it that that the probation office would their bookkeeping would be unable to answer this question of how much has been paid. You paid, it's always documented. My father had been no uh, received no restitution over a year. I just called him out in the hallway. He's not getting no money. Uh, the, victim, the victim has him. It shows that his the monies that he's been paying since twenty two is going towards restitution. So I'm I'm not sure why his the victim is not receiving the money. Well, there's a bookkeeping oh, oh, entry that shows where the money is sent and how it's sent. Mm -hmm. But I don't want a black hole here where nobody can explain it away. I, he, he says one thing, but bookkeeping is going to be the test. I mean, he, he, I, I trust that the office is keeping good bookkeeping, but I need somebody to come in from bookkeeping to say what this, to get, tell me what the, the finances are. I want to remind you what's showing here in my notes. All the way back in March of 22, this gentleman came before your honor with a note from his father asking that, uh, basically instructing the court that all the, all the debt was forgiven. It was then that we determined that the amount of the restitution was being paid back to the crime victims, which uh, his father had received, which was the amount of 92000 in excess of that. We've been, the court properly handled those claims, then discussed with uh, this gentleman about how that can't be done that way, that restitution will be paid in fitting with the way you typically handle restitution. Your honor. Um, and I just w I wanted to point that out. It, it seems that this claim again that he's making in May is is related to that issue in some way. I remember looking at the figures that were set out with the other officer, 
checking all the numbers. What do you think? That he made. Well, what do you think? I what think the think? bookkeeping is right. I don't think that it's off ten thousand dollars. I think that no matter what, even if he was right, he still owes over forty thousand dollars, and we need to do something to address oh, the yeah, expiration. But there. there needs to be an exact amount. It's this Correct. is science. It's math. I'll stand want, by what they they have. Good. I mean, I've got receipts I can bring. I should have brought them. Why don't you bring the receipts to them? I, I can't. And y'all see if y'all can work it out. If you can, then you come back to me. I yes, just sir. So where, the money's going to your father? Yes. Okay. Where is he? He's in Beaumont. <clears throat> what yeah. does he do with the money? Do you know? I have no idea. Do okay. you see him at all? Uh, Occasionally when I'm this way. Did we change this probation order in some way to allow contact with the complainant? No, sir. Number 27 says of your probation order that you signed here, states no contact with complainant. So how are you having contact with the complainant? No. If I, if, I'm sorry. I was oh. trying to complete my thought but before you rudely interrupted oh. here. How is it you're having contact with a complainant? I know it's your father, but there are certain privileges under the natural relationship of father and son that uh, you pretty much forfeited when you committed this crime of aggravated assault by shooting your father. So you're seeing him? Yes, I've seen him at funerals. And birthday it says party. no contact with him. I mean, I didn't know. Yes, you did know. You signed the order. I mean, I didn't know he was there. Well, did you, you turn around and you walk out. Uh, what other contact have you had with him? Yeah, sir. You don't go, go by. I thought you inferred that you went by and saw him when you come in. No. Where does he live? Infinite. Where do you live? Wichita Falls. Where do you live? In Wichita Falls, Texas. Okay. So you don't go, you're saying to this court, you don't go by and see him when you come into town. No, sir. You only see him pleadingly at a funeral? My mother's funeral, yes. My grandmother. Well, this all, until this order changes, when there is a serious offense like this, I hold people strictly accountable. Uh, yeah, I don't want you to. If you happen to run into him, you turn. It's your obligation, not his, yes, to leave. It's yours yes. to avoid any contact. Okay. Also, uh, they'll pull this out unless you're going to write a check for the balance. It's it kind of irrelevant right now how much money is owed because uh, you're only at four hundred dollars that's forty eight hundred a year by about five thousand which still gives you eight years before we have to worry about it uh, about the exact amount but you just pay what you're responsible to pay for okay so where are you employed now same spot yes sir um, you okay. know play like i don't that remember press and how much are you make in an hour Twenty-five dollars, yes, sir. Well, that's uh, that's. Do you have overtime too? Actually, yes I, or no? No. No, oh, no overtime. No. Oh, okay. So you're making about fifty-five, fifty-five thousand. When in work, salary. when work is there, they, yes, sir. They they're slow right now. Oh, it's not it's not a forty-hour week. Uh, it's supposed to be, but they don't let off two people. Right. They're hanging on to me. 
Okay. And what is it? What is the, uh, what kind of work is it? I'm a welder. My experience has been, those are important jobs that yes, they're necessary. Yes, sir. Try to work without a welding uh, service. Okay. But really, they're having problems hiring people? Uh, he's having problems getting clientele to build what we build. Which is what? Gun ranges. Mobile gun ranges. Okay. Okay. What else do we need to address? Um, That's it, John. We probably and do I, need to extend his probation a year. To, yes. Well, we're running out of the anniversary is coming up, isn't it? August the 10th. Right. So that's 10 days. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm asking the court. You've got, he's been, he was initially ordered eight years. We've had one extension that needs an additional one. Well, we can only extend it one more year without filing a motion, right? Yes, sir. I don't have an extension of one year here on this sheet. I guess we did that uh, on the cover. Did, did we extend it? No, sir. There's not a, um, an extension at this time. No, no. Here's what I'm saying is that he was he was granted probation on August 11th of 2014 for eight years. Well, eight years yes, there passed was up extension. last year. Yes, sir. There was an extension prior to. I thought you were meaning okay. for this. All right. We need one more extension before. Uh, and if you don't pay, which seems like the only obligation under all of this, that's an active obligation, and that's paying back restitution. If you can't pay the balance, whatever it might be, at least 40000 some odd dollars then we're going to have to file a motion to revoke probation to extend it. Yes, sir. I think you explained it to me in May. Which would, which would, it's a pain. You got to go through with it. Uh, but we'd have to do that next year. Unless you're able to pay it all. Uh, so be thinking about that, which would be a, filing a motion. You would be arrested and we'd, we'd be a, book in and out kind of a procedure. But we can do this next year. And in well, we we're we are reviewing this every six months. Okay. Right? That's what I want to do. Yes, sir. Okay. Get a resetting for six months, sir. Anything else to bring up on on uh, Mr. Moton? No? Okay, Ricky Rodriguez. Ricky Rodriguez is next. 13176000.